you're looking at Unfiltered Audio's Dent, a distortion plugin with a difference. Amongst its many features, you're going to find a multi-mode clipper with both input and output gain controls, a resonant filter, a multi-mode bit crusher, wave shaping to create half or full rectification and other analog style distortion effects, a probability-based wave set processor, and on top of all of this, a really flexible modulation engine. Now, some of this may sound pretty complex, so the best way to show you how these features can work for you is to demonstrate them in action. So for our first example, let's take a listen to a pretty straight up electric bass recording. It's playing with some electronic drums and I just think it needs some more energy. I've got it running through dent, but the mix is at 0%. So first of all, we can take a listen to it in its dry state. <laughs> Now I'm quite happy with the performance, but I really want to push the energy. So what I've done here is engaged a soft clipper, increased the input and output gain, and turned down the trim to compensate for any level added. Now let's turn the mix to 100% and take a listen. Now I'm pretty happy with that, it's a lot more up front, but I want to take things a little further. So let's adjust the cutoff frequency, introduce some resonance, reduce the bit crusher amount here, and then add some modulation. I've got a sine wave LFO here, and I'm going to apply it to both the bit crusher, the cutoff frequency, and also the mix. <laughs> To me, that's a much more inspiring sound and really works in the mix. Now let's take a quick look at some of the more advanced features of Dent. Now I've got a low frequency sine wave passing through Dent here to give us some visual feedback as we adjust key parameters. First of all, I want to focus on the wave shaper in the upper part of Dent's interface here. And one of the stars of the show has to be the shape parameter. As we move this clockwise, we can achieve square wave-like tones. And moving to the left, we'll get more needle-like waveforms thinning out our sound. We can split apart these positive and negative components of our waveform using the split control and fine tune this with the upper and lower X controls. In the lower section of the interface, we've got a wave set processor here to the right, which will give us interesting uniform results, processing only part of our wave sets in sequence mode and also cable drop style effects in drop mode. To the left, we've got a multi-mode bit crusher, allowing us to reduce resolution, sample rate, and also get different flavors of bit crushing by altering the mode. Now let's take a look at how we can apply these features to a drum loop for some real world effects processing. This hip hop loop sounds pretty good in its dry state, but by adding a few decibels of wave fold distortion, we're gonna make things much more aggressive and much more upfront. Now let's try altering the shape to push things even further. We're really squaring off those waveforms at this point. Now let's use a negative split value. Things sound almost robotic here. We can then use the bit crusher to add some real flavor to choice bits of our loop. I just love applying distortion to pads and ambient soundscapes. I think it gives them a real personality. Of course, a static distortion can work well, but a modulated distortion can be even better. So let's take a look at both of those things now in a couple of examples. First of all, I've got a pad sound here and I've got some drive applied and also quite a lot of sample rate reduction. I'll play it at 0% mix and then I'll mix it in so you can hear the difference. We're getting lots of great extra harmonics and overtones, and if I change the cutoff, you can hear some really nice filtering taking place after the distortion. Changing the sample rate reduction parameter here also introduces some lush variation.
Now I'm loving the way this is sounding, but I want to add some modulation. If I open the modulation engine here, you can see that I've already done that. Although these modulators are rooted, they aren't turned up. So let's do that now one by one. First of all, I've got a sine wave LFO applied to the sample rate reduction. I've also got a saw applied to the shape parameter. And I'm also going to apply that to the cutoff frequency as well and fine tune that to match the modulation. On top of that, I've got the split parameter here on another sine wave LFO. And finally, I'm going to use this last LFO to adjust the speed of the second modulator. Now we're getting some really interesting interactions here and the whole pad sound has come to life. So whether you're treating drums, bass, synthesizers or pads, Dent is really your best friend for making things more upfront and more interesting in the mix. Remember, you can go to the Plugin Alliance website to download your own fully functional 14-day trial of Dent and many other plugins. I hope this video has given you some idea of what this awesome creative plugin is capable of, and I'll see you next time.